Hello, uh, this short Q&A video uh, aims to uncover the difference between profile isolation and segmentation. Uh, both very useful features, uh, but we just need to make sure we understand uh, what is the use for each of them. And we're going to start with uh, this idea of isolating profiles. And you'll see here that um, I'm inside a uh, configuration profile and as soon as I enable branch to branch VPN, uh, this option appears. Now, by default, if we have two branches and they either share a common gateway, which by the way, all of them do. Remember, we use the super gateways in case the primary and the secondary are not shared between branches. Or if you choose uh, Edge as a hub, if you have a common hub, those branches will be able to talk to one another, regardless of the fact that they might be in different profiles altogether. So I might have two different regions, let's say Europe and Asia, and I can have a profile for each. As long as I have a hub assigned to both of them, this will allow the branches in Europe and Asia to talk to one another. However, what if we want to keep those regions separate? And this is where the isolate profile kicks in because this will make sure that the edge will only learn about branches in its own profile and also uh, the routes that the hub learns via the underlay. Why is this important? Well, because if we do want to route between regions, for example, we want to have certain traffic crossing from Europe to Asia, we can actually use BGP at the hub sites and share routes and do the routing across the data center in turn connect. Now, segmentation is a totally different thing. You'll see here that I can configure a, a segment. I can define uh, up to 16 of them here. So I can go ahead and uh, let's say have a guest segment. Now in here, optionally, we can also insert a service VLAN. And this means that if we are choosing to use a security VNF, uh, if that VNF can understand service VLANs, it can then apply different policies for traffic coming in from different segments. So now that I click save changes, I can go back in my profile and you'll see that I am able to add the guest uh, segment to it. And now I can push different device settings, different uh, policies, and also different firewall rules. So up to 16 segments allows us to take an edge, wherever that's physical or virtual, uh, and split it in up to 16 separate uh, virtual instances, each with its own routing table, and also each with its own settings, policy, and firewall rules. So you see here, I can go in business policy, and my guest segment can have totally different rules. Why would you use segments? Well, for anything related to line of business or security separation, uh, you can have different parts of the organization, each is its own segment. Uh, you can have your PCI data or your IoT or your guest users in different segments. Uh, so in case somebody comes with a compromised device, uh, that device won't actually have access to the rest of the state. Uh, by default, there's no um, leakage between segments. Um, although um, you can, uh, with your DC routing, uh, create a bridge between different segments. But by default, segments are separate. And if I land in, my, in the guest one, I will not be able to have visibility or access to any of the others. Other use cases are that of uh, contractors. 
and also mergers and acquisitions because uh, the segments are by default separated. Um, thus, uh, they are able to have overlapping IP addresses. And you see here when you add the villa, we now have the option to place it in its own segment. Now, quite importantly for you to understand is that although we can have up to 16 segments for an edge, we don't build a VCMP tunnel for each of them. So when this edge connects to the hubs and other branches, it will actually have a enterprise ID and also a segment ID. So the segment ID field will allow the box at the receiving edge to differentiate between uh, different communications coming from different segments. And the enterprise ID will actually allow the gateway to differentiate between multiple customers. So if I was a service provider and I was using the partner gateway, uh, I can actually have visibility of both these fields and then make sure to treat traffic coming from different customers and different parts of a customer estate uh, totally differently.